of the Food Network magazine, and it's all about cheese. I mean, lots of recipes with cheese. So I thought, what's the quintessential cheese recipe? It's grilled cheese sandwiches. I've got just a very simple plum loaf, good bakery loaf, not like the stuff from the grocery store. So you need one cup of mayonnaise, a quarter of a cup of mustard, Use good Dijon mustard. And this is the unusual ingredient, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. I think that works best. And just whisk it all together. And then spread this on the bread before I even put the cheese in. How about that? Okay, that's done. But first, I'm going to spread some butter on the bread. That's going to be nice and brown and crisp when it goes into the grill pan or the press. Okay, so that's the butter. I'm just going to flip them all over. Put the butter on the outside of the sandwich. And then I'm going to spread the inside. And then I'm going to put them in the I find a spoon for this, an easier way to spread it on. So inside of this, I'm going to put really good cheese, some crumbled bacon, and put it in the panini press. Put it in the panini press, you can always do it more. So I'll take in, just like classic grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, now for the bacon. I think the easiest way to cook bacon is in the oven. On a wrap, 100 degrees, 20 to 30 minutes, it comes out perfectly every time. Okay, I'm just going to put it on the board and just dice it up. Every sandwich gets just a little bit. And just give this a big dice. Just big pieces of it. It's easier to distribute on the sandwiches. Okay, that's the bacon. I'm just going to put a few pieces on each sandwich. It's a cheese sandwich. I'm going to I need six ounces of cheddar. That should be about six ounces of right here. And I need six ounces of Gruyere. I love Gruyere for this because it's got this really nutty flavor. <laughs> for the fastest way I know to grate cheese in the food processor. It's just so fast. I love it. Just put it right in the food too. Cheese.